welcome to another diary entry. How many is he going to make this year? It's incredible. Um, no reply back after 10 days of the waste management team. So I've put a formal complaint in and passed it up to the LGO. I think they can, you know, basically contact them now because their 10 days is up. They don't need 12 weeks, 10 days is up. The response is clear. Um, not a lot else has been happening today, really. I haven't cleaned the place yet. I'm going to have to give it a quick over tomorrow. I can't mop the floors unless it's sunny tomorrow because this place is freezing and the floors wouldn't dry. reason it's freezing is got 25 bags of rubbish in the bathroom. So that window's open all the time. Oh, I just want a shower. I'm going to have to sit down and order some food in a moment. I'm going to try going gluten and dairy free to see if that improves my skin and my sinuses. I did want to try gluten free a few years ago, but it was just too expensive. But I suppose <clears throat> I'm constantly tired because I'm not eating properly. Although I did make a spaghetti bolognese today, you know mince, jar sauce, you know, put it in a frying pan, you know, it's like beans on toast to me, really. Um, I've managed to get the second, for some reason, the second screen is now working. Don't understand it. Couldn't get it working yesterday. And instead of putting it away, I thought, tie it all up. So now I've got the scanner underneath. But the wires are up here, so if I need to use the scanner, just lift the scanner up, plug it all in. That reminds me I need to put the software on. God, that's going to be fun. I wonder if Windows will see it without all the funny software it used to use. I don't know, I'll try it at the moment. Tomorrow, I'm not doing it now. I've still got my sound card on order. That should be here in the next week or two. Um, my f mouth feels like a fucking litter tray. I feel like I'm rotting, falling apart. I've just translated and published two episodes because I didn't get around to doing any of them today. So I did two of them today. Um... Nothing to look forward to for the weekend again, really. Uh, I don't know what to do. I spoke to Chris today. I had, I had to speak to him because, you know, otherwise he'll get the message and his managers will get the message that I'm having a go at him. I'm not having a go at Chris. He's working, he's doing his best that he can with the tools that he's given. The tools are broken. I actually spoke to someone this morning about why they use um, private numbers. And apparently the story is they use it for privacy. So that, I think it was the mental health team or someone in that department. The story goes <sighs> that when they call people at work, it comes up private rather than number. Oh, surely, if it was on a private number and they was expecting your call, couldn't they add you into their contact book as Aunt Jane or Uncle Fred? And then no one would know it's the mental health team calling. And apart from which, why is there a stigma about the mental health team calling you? Come on, get over it, boys and girls. Allowing... Privacy is not an excuse for restricting access to services 
for the disabled people. And that's what private calls and withheld numbers do. You're withdrawing services to people like myself. That's why I've had a problem for 10, 12 years. Maybe longer, because it goes back to when my ex used to call me after we were divorced and harassed me. That's why I don't take private calls. And that's why I don't have medical services or, I mean, my dentist will call me on a non-private number. What's that about? But my GP won't. Or the mental health people, knowing it gives me anxiety. No, I'm sorry, boys and girls, it's going to have to change. Using excuses to use private numbers is no good. The woman this morning said, well, Barclays uses private numbers. Well, they're private organisations. They can do what they want. But public bodies should use public numbers. It's a public organisation. If people are embarrassed by receiving calls from the mental health service, don't use the mental health service. You're not ready for it. I can give you the logic behind it if you want. Put comments in below and I'll give you good logic on the other channel, on my um, thoughts and beliefs playlist. I'm gradually going through separating my YouTube channel from the playlists that I've created. So it's no longer going to be called Personal Diary. It is just Billy Gibbons. Because it now encompasses Personal Diary, political comments, product reviews, all sorts of things. And I've got playlists for each of those. So I'm just working on the branding. I've got the little circle thing done. I've just got to work out the branding for the TV and the web page. So that's going to happen over the weekend, hopefully. I've downloaded the template. So all I've got to do is put the template into PowerPoint, then paste over the top of it my branding, and delete the other picture. And oh, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. Um, Tabs is down here. It's nearly nine o'clock and no one's asking for food. I'm going to feed the boys in a moment. I think it didn't help. They got a late breakfast this morning, I think. Half ten, I think. Might have been eleven. And that's Tabs having a little play behind me. What are you playing with, Tabs? Oh, he's chasing the dot. Do you see the dots behind me? He's chasing them on the floor. I bought them four tabs, but I just think it makes the background look lovely. So I've put them on on the back of this, and it just breaks up the monotony. But I'm afraid it does mean that we get noise from tabs coming and going. Anyway, I'm going to keep this short because I'm the one that has to write through all the subtitles. So I'm going to let YouTube do its business and publish this tomorrow after I've done all the subtitles. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow.